I went into the eyes already having my face done. I will link that video so you can watch it before this if you want to do that. But yeah, this is look. Okay, so as I stated, I already have my makeup done, um, my base makeup from a previous video. So I'm going to start by applying some of the RCMA No Color Powder uh, quite heavily underneath my eyes to catch any potential fallout. I'm not baking, I'm not really pressing it in, I'm not using something damp to apply it. I'm literally just kind of um, making like a, a thick coat of powder so I'll be able to brush it away pretty easily. So I'm just applying that underneath the eyes and then... For the eyeshadow, I'm going to go immediately in with the Viseyar Editorial Brights, the yellow color. So I'm going to go in with a kind of small fluffy brush to do that. And I'm just going to start by applying it all over the lid and up into the crease. All I had on my lids from before was just a little bit of foundation and translucent powder. Um, so I'm not going to go in on fresh concealer or a white base just yet. I'm putting the yellow color down first and building it all over the lid in the crease. Because this is going to kind of basically act as also um, the transition color and the crease color. So I'm going to do this to both eyes with uh, soft motions. Just make sure that everything is applied nice and even all the way down to the lash line and up above the crease. So now I'm going in with a little bit of the Danessa Myricks Vision Cover Cream Concealer Wand. This is in the color W1. I'm just very lightly applying this onto the lid on top of that yellow shadow. I'm not doing a cut crease, although if you want to, you can. Uh, I just want this shadow on my lid to pop you know, a lot more neon than it is right now. So I'm just softly applying this, uh, focusing a lot of it, um, especially on like that inner part of the eye and then blending out. And I like applying a little bit of the concealer on top of that shadow cuz it kind of creates a pretty it creates a pretty color. So I'm going and I'm not bringing it all the way really all the way out either because I want to kind of keep it a little bit, you know, of that more muted, slightly darker yellow out there. So I'm just kind of focusing it up on the inside of the lid and then bringing it kind of down and keeping it underneath the crease on the rest of the lid space. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to now pack that yellow on top of the concealer. As you can see now, it comes on a light, a lot brighter, a lot more neon. This is a really nice yellow too. It doesn't go on patchy um, and there really was almost no fallout. I just did the loose powder just to be safe. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to pack this yellow all the way up, all over the concealer. And then once I get to the inner part, I'm going to uh, first mix the yellow with the white that's in the palette and apply it to really that inner quarter of the eye. And then I'm going to go in just with the white. I don't want to use the white alone. I feel like that's a little bit too stark. So I mix the two colors first um, before I went in. So now I'm going to go back to my face, which as I said is already done, and I'm just going to brush away uh, the loose powder that's underneath my eyes. There really was no fallout from this, but I don't think it, you know, it can hurt to just put a little bit of extra powder under there when you already have your face done. So once I'm done brushing that out, I'm going to take that same um, like flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to put the yellow 
underneath the eye. I'm gonna go not all the way into the inner corner, but about three quarters of the way. And now I'm gonna go in with this Thrive Market nude shimmering um, highlighter slash liner stick. I'm gonna apply this on the waterline and on that inner corner of the eye. It's a really pretty color. It's not super, super intense, but it's also gonna give a little bit of wetness for the next shadows to stick to. Now I'm mixing the yellow and the white that's in the palette and I'm applying that into that um, inner quarter. I'm gonna go in with the mix of the colors first to lay that down and then I'm gonna add white until it's like the desired brightness that I want it to be. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush and just make sure that everything is blended really well and also make sure that the shape is even the way I want it to be. Uh, I wanted this to be a little bit pointier so I just kind of extended the shadow out past my uh, natural eye line a little bit. Now I'm going in with a highlighter that you see there. It's by Sephora. I'll put the color in the description box below, um, but it's kind of a dupe for NARS Albatross. So I'm first applying that to that inner corner with the fluffy brush, and then I'm gonna concentrate it more using my pinky finger right on that inner corner, like that little V from the tear duct. I'm just gonna you know, make sure that both sides are even, blend it out with my finger. And then I'm also gonna now add more of that same highlighter on the face. Just to kind of tie everything in together. There we go. And I'm gonna go in with some of that really, really almost empty little mini bronzer. That's uh, Becca's Wild Honey, I believe. I'm gonna bronze just a little bit around my cheeks. Not a lot, I just wanna put a little bit more color into the face. And using that same brush from before that has the mix of the white and the yellow, I'm gonna go in with that same highlighter and apply it underneath the brow bone. It's gonna give it you know, a shimmer, but still keep kinda like that yellow tint. Now for the lips, I'm going in with Lime Life's lip gloss in Wish. Pretty sure that was Wish, I'll double check. Um, but I'm gonna go in with the lip gloss in Wish. Then I'm gonna apply the um, liquid highlighter that I use all the time. This is by Becca. That's in the color Moonstone. I'm gonna apply some of that onto the lips. And then once that's kind of blended in well, I'm just gonna go in with this Ulta uh, clear shimmery lip gloss. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a clear one, it's got gold shimmer, it's from the Harry Potter collection, and I'm gonna apply that uh, rather thickly on top. I really want this to have like a really glistening lip look to go with the eyes. Going in with these Kiss lashes, they are uh, like a triple layer, so they have different curls um, and different lengths scattered throughout. So I'm um, just, what you saw me doing was just kind of bending the band, so that way it sits on my eyelids pretty easily. So I did that, I trimmed about a little quarter off and the, I used the Kala eyelash glue. Uh, this glue dries really, really quickly. I'm used to using the Ardell, which you usually have to apply and let it sit for about 20 to 30 seconds before you put it on the lid. This does not take that long at all. I usually put it on, I put the glue on and within like five to 10 seconds, it's ready for me to stick it on. So that's what I use. So I'm just applying them to the lashes and then I'm using my fingers to pinch them down Make sure that they're, um, you know, sitting on really close to the lashes. And I already had mascara on from the previous look that I did. So I'm doing the same thing with the tweezers. I'm squeezing the lashes to my real lashes to make sure that everything is blended really well and that they're nice and secure. Once I do that, I just kind of brush and position the lashes to look how I want them to look. You can absolutely do this look with um, a more natural lash, but I like it with something a little bit fluffier and a little longer and more dramatic. So I applied more mascara on top of them and I realized that when I blinked, it was kind of transferring onto the bottom. 
So after I wiped it away a few times, I realized it was still going. So a little trick that you can do is just put your Q-tip there and blink and it'll pick up any of the excess mess. But yeah, that's the completed look. I ended up putting on a white t-shirt and tying a bunch of yellow ribbons around my neck um, to go with the song that this is inspired by. But hope you like it.